Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. I've been telling Susan for years, weather's like real estate. Location, location, location. Well, look at Lancaster Sky Cam. Look at Harrisburg Sky Cam. A little different there, huh? More clouds east, more sunshine off to the west. In fact, Capitol right now, it's 74. Very pleasant, too. Dew points tolerable at 65. A little bit of a southeast wind east. That brings moisture in off the ocean, and that's the case for us. You can see eastern counties more cloudy. Western counties are seeing a little more sunshine. I think that's going to be the case. There'll be bright spots even in York, Lancaster, Lebanon, Dolphin counties, but more sunshine as you get out farther to the west. Already up near 80 in Chambersburg and Gettysburg, mid-70s. And yeah, we have some clouds. It's holding in the low to mid-70s. But all in all, I think it's a pretty decent afternoon. Kind of a mix of clouds and sun. More clouds east, more sun west. Mild afternoon. Dew points tolerable. It starts to get a little stickier overnight tonight. And that means more clouds. And I even think a little drizzle, maybe some patchy fog, kind of a cloudy, damp night. Tomorrow, we start it that way, cloudy and damp. But I'm banking by about 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, we start to see more sunshine. Breeze picks up. You'll notice the humidity coming up. And we get up near 80 degrees. Not out of the question, some western counties get into the mid 80s tomorrow on the last full day of summer. Here are the river stages still forecasted right near the uh, action stage, but they should start to fall as we go through the overnight hours. You can see a lot of clouds in eastern counties, but look at all that sunshine out west. Well, there's a warm front out here, and that warmer air is trying to move in, but what's blocking it right now, big area of high pressure, and that's bringing in that easterly flow off the ocean. So I think as the warm front approaches, we'll have, again, more clouds as we go through tomorrow. It looks like a southwesterly flow of air will try to move in later in the day. That'll warm it up a little bit. Not for long. Here comes a cold front. Could be some heavy thunderstorms with this in northwestern Pennsylvania. Probably not going to reach us till Saturday morning. Maybe a stray shower then. This is going to bring in cooler Canadian air. So 70s to 80s today. Watch what happens as we get into tomorrow. I think well, or tonight we're in the 60s. Tomorrow we'll start to see that surge of warm air coming in. I think we're up in the 80s actually, but here comes that cooler Canadian air. I think we're only in the 60s and low to mid 70s on Saturday. So 78 tomorrow. I could see it up or today. I could see it up into the 80s tomorrow, breezy and warm. And then I think we get a shower late tomorrow night, early on, sa on Saturday, clearing cooler. Autumn arrives about 9.54 in the evening. Gonna feel like it. And I think we could be pretty cool for Sunday and Monday. Warms up, but a little unsettled heading into the early mid part of next week. So last day of summer, I think we'll feel like it by this time tomorrow, but then it cools down. For, I took a for photo this morning. I saw a little tinge of color in a tree. You know what I saw tomorrow, this morning walking Nittany? A woolly bear caterpillar. Uh, was it brown? Or? It was a lot of brown. Okay. So you know what I did? <laughs> oh, yuck. <laughs>